question. There's so many things to talk about. I think you probably have to start with... Morning. Prime Minister's... Morning, press... morning. Good morning. Yes. yes, let's start with a good morning. Cheery more. Good morning. <laughs> good morning, if you insist. I, don't know. Um, just, I was just getting on with it. <laughs> so, do, you feel, do you feel ignored? PMQ. <laughs> I mean, like, over, people are speaking over you. Is that how you feel? Uh, <laughs> he's already been labelled a dinosaur this morning. Really? And unflatteringly compared to Dolly Parton. So I have to say, oh. he's feeling a little bit sensitive. Well, actually, Do you know, there's only one Dolly Parton is a god. Yes. Uh, so be pla I, I, I haven't. I saw her in concert, and it's the best concert I've there. ever been to in my life. She has put her hand on my inner thigh. Oh, she? I thought it was a knee 20 minutes ago. I know, but I, I was holding back. It was early. <laughs> By talking about that, you are sounding like the Edosaurus. Yeah, uh, you know, yes, going, maybe you know, that's like it. A gentleman <laughs> doesn't tell. There we are. How, we long did, how long did she leave her hand there? It feels slightly uncomfortable, this conversation. So can we move it on to Prime, Minister's, uh, Prime Minister's was, questions? He's got, he's got children. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> three. Not with her. Well, not with her. her. Not with her. Well, I thought that was only a rumour. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so Sorry. Prime Minister's questions today. Um, <laughs> it, Nadim Zahawi, right. not by any means off the hook. Shall we just remind ourselves yes. what the Prime Minister said about the matter before he launched an inquiry to clear up any questions that might still need to be asked, this is what he said last week at PMQs. Will the Prime Minister demand accountability from his Cabinet members about their tax affairs? Yeah. 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 Well, Mr Speaker, my, uh, my honourable friend has already addressed this matter in full and that's nothing more that I can add. Right, I thought he'd addressed it in full. Andrew, so does that mean that the Prime Minister doesn't believe what he was told by what, Mr Zahawi, the chairman he, of his party? The point, what he, it, mm. it's what he wasn't told by Nadim Zahawi because Nadim Zahawi's had an ongoing issue over his tax affairs and he didn't tell the Prime Minister uh, last week that he had to pay a penalty, mm. reputedly up to £1 million, uh, which is effectively a fine which people get if you don't pay your tax on time. That's a pretty germane thing to have to tell your Prime Minister, who is First Lord of the Treasury. And, of course, all this happened when Nadim Zahawi was very briefly Chancellor of the Exchequer. Of course. But, but Andrew, but Andrew, 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 yeah. the Treasury yeah. would have known all these details. I can't understand why the number Cabinet 10... The Cabinet Office know, would have known all these know. details. Are you really saying that the Treasury and the Cabinet Office, as well as Nadim Zahawi, all forgot to tell the Prime Minister when he was appointing him in a reshuffle? That is... Beyond belief. What I think is more concerning is that he was made Chancellor of the Exchequer by Boris Johnson, albeit very briefly. It was when the government was falling apart with Boris because everybody was resigning. But Boris made him Chancellor of the Exchequer when this was really an issue. And it, presumably a week or so after he became Chancellor, he had yeah. wrote a cheque for nearly £5 million for this tax bill. How did he ever become Prime Minister mm -hmm. Chancellor then? And how did he... Why did the Treasury not tell N Number 10? Nadeem, I think they didn't tell him. Nadeem, yeah. Nadeem Zawari's tax affairs and finances, personal finances, became an issue in the Tory leadership election back in... in Which some, one? When it was the one... Which leadership it, it was election? the one when Rishi Sunak finished second. So Zawari was seven out of eight, but it came up there and he was, he was asked about it. It was in the he papers. Was. He was. It was on mm. TV, so you could not know. When, last week... He brushed it away, uh, Sunak, that way, and I was in the Commons. Mm. I thought, is that a hostage to fortune? I didn't, I didn't quite know what was going to come out, but I thought, you're taking a chance there. That will be quoted back at it today, mm. along with him now saying there are serious questions uh, to, to answer. Because if you're Starmer, you're Labour, mm. you don't really just make it about Zawari. You make it about a Prime Minister who is weak, incompetent, naive, just not on top of it. That's what you, that's what you do. Yeah, the I... Tories are going to have a President Rishi Sunak strategy, think he's better than the Tory party, but Labour, Starmer... But but I, still don't think, I still don't believe that the Prime Minister, when he told the Commons last week that Zawari had answered, dealt with it, I do not believe that he was aware that he'd paid this penalty. What? I can't believe it. How, how it, wasn't he, though? That, because, I mean, that is the question. Because, well, because somebody didn't, didn't ask the right that question. That means that he didn't answer or, the right question. Or his people in number 10 didn't ask the right question. an inquiry yeah. to ask well, the right but at question. Least he, yeah. but, make him look but, very but he's got an ethics powerful. advisor, which, of course, Boris didn't bother with, um, because he lost his uh, two ethics advisors. So he's got well, an ethics advisor. Well, resigned because he Sir didn't have any other. ethics. Who is the ethics advisor? I can't remember his name. Sir he's, a, he's an old Etonian establishment banger. He'll do Just a proper inquiry and we'll know in a couple of weeks' time. And here's my prediction. When the inquiry's completed, Nadim Tahar will be goodbye.
What does he do today? Did you, just one more question on PMQs. Yeah. He's, 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 He'll say there's an inquiry, he's not, No, 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 I no, no, but, no, no but a bigger picture. Right. We've seen in the past points where uh, Tony Blair, David Cameron under big pressure, mm -hmm. and they have a good PMQs because they, they fight back and they, um, they change the narrative. What does um, Sunak do today? Does he go to Ukraine and be a statesman? Mm -hmm. Does he go on the attack with Labour? That's not really been working on these strikes. Does he make an announcement? The one thing he can't afford to do is to stand there again and look like well, he's not really on top of the detail of his government he, and his ministers. Well, I suppose he could, he could talk about Keir Starmer saying how, how important it is that, that there's a proper dignified debate about trans issues uh, and, and actually has done nothing to condemn the abuse that his own Labour MP... So go on, on the about. attack. Mm. Yeah, that's what I would so do. What he'll do, it's, it's like a magician's trick, it's distraction. Don't, yeah. don't look yeah. here where oh. I'm uh, up the, to something. The way look that, over there. There. The way that Labour MP was treated by what, our own backbenchers was disgraceful. What a boutery. And all the Tory MPs will cheer. He always gets his biggest cheers if he attacks trade unions, because being anti-trade unions is in the Tory DNA, so they all get behind him. But the fact is, if you are Starmer, you will go on Zawari, but you will also probably, probably do all the failings in the probation and criminal justice system, all, no, but that, but all the these point. women being killed. If it was me, because... what I would do is I would do, at the very beginning, Who? a big announcement <clears throat> on police reform yeah. or probation reform yeah. before Starmer gets up yeah. and actually try and change the narrative onto something positive and strong, because we know from our survey today mm -hmm. that trust is going down but, in the police. Mm -hmm. He needs to can... do something big. You can say big and strong, which party has been in power for 13 years? Mm. Which party has this happened under? Mm. And it, it happened with Labour at times. It was like, oh, this is awful. Yeah, but who's been, who's been in control? Who's been mm. running this? You have. Mm. You haven't sorted it. Why should people trust you to you do it now?